Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, energy check-in for uh, Leo. This is going to be for uh, the second half of your April from the 16th to 30th. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of your month, and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know. Uh, Keep in mind, this could be anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, you can apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Leo, let's get started. What are energies for Leo? What is surrounding Leo? What does Leo need to know? What can Leo expect for the second half of their April from the 16th to the 30th for April 2022? for the second half of our April. And like I said, you can apply this to any of your replacements, okay, Leo? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Seems like you might be getting over some sort of confusion here, some sort of illusion that you've been dealing with here, okay? We have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Seems like things may be balancing out for you, okay? Um, I feel like also there's a sense of patience here too. So I feel like, you know, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like that, you know, it was an upright and there was a, a energy to scramble, to tend to all these cups. But I feel like now you're just going to focus on one thing at a time and kind of move forward in that way. You know, whatever that may be, it could be your work life, personal life, could be relationships, could be friendships, okay? Uh, it's all about finding balance here. Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles here and the Chariot, okay? Cancer energy with the Chariot. Seems like there is some sort of hope that things will take off or that things will move forward, that things will get better. And I feel like this, uh, I feel like there could be issues with finances or concern with money here, okay? Uh, because I feel like someone here doesn't really have enough, okay? Someone here might not be making enough money here, all right? So we have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here. I do feel like slowly it will get better. It's going to take some time. It's slow to happen, but I feel like you have to put energy in what you want to change or what you want to improve here. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here, okay? Um, we have the devil card in the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, you know, someone here might be in this energy of thinking uh, about things very negatively here. But I feel like there are new opportunities that are coming towards you where there is going to be an opportunity for abundance and growth here regarding your career and your finances, okay? Uh, there could be a lot of spiritual growth happening here for you too, uh, Leo. Let's see what else we have here. Seven of Cups in the reverse. We have the Knight of Cups, Temperance, and the Three of Pentacles, okay? Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Three of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like you guys could be taking this opportunity to really focus on your work, okay? I do, I do feel like maybe a lot of you guys might be freelancers or something like that. Because I'm getting an energy that someone here is living paycheck to paycheck, to paycheck, to paycheck okay? Uh, I feel like a lot of you guys might be artists or designers or something like that. You guys could um, be creating, I don't know, like maps or something like that. Or, or like detail things to build things. I don't know. Four of Pentacles. The Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. Tell me about the Chariot. And then we have the Hermit here. So Virgo energy. Empress. Libra, Taurus. And then the Hermit, Virgo energy. You guys could be doing some soul searching here. Sort of introspecting, self-reflecting on the current things that are currently going on in your life. You know, I do feel like Taurus a lot, not Taurus, uh, Leo, a lot of you guys, you know, might be in this energy of, you know, whatever you guys, whatever you guys put your mind to, it kind of turns to gold. 
okay? So let's see what else we have here. Six of Pentacles. We have the Magician, uh, Gemini, Virgo, Seven of Pentacles here, and then the Hangman. You know, I feel like you're really putting a, a lot of energy and a lot of effort in trying to overcome maybe some sort of financial issue that you're going through here. But I feel like you're not uh, allowing it to hinder you, okay? So I feel like you are releasing control and just allowing the process to be, allowing the process to unfold naturally here, okay? Um, so Magician, Gemini, Virgo, and then a Hangman, Piscean Energy. Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have for uh, Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Outcome and advice here for Leo regarding your situation. What else does Leo need to know for the second half of their April from the 16th to the 30th? Yeah, I do feel like a lot of you guys are struggling financially, but I feel like there's an energy of moving forward, getting out of that. You have support from your guides and your angels here, too, to help you along uh, uh, this uh, difficult path that you're in, I feel. Um, Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. And with the Ace of Cups, you know, it could be just emotionally emotional fulfillment for you or that it could be you know new love that's coming towards you the thing is i feel like you're stressed out about that so i feel like you could be going through a lot a lot of stress and anxiety surrounding your money here because i feel like with the ease of cups you could feel emotionally unfulfilled right now okay let's see what else we have we have full aries energy aries energy and then the five of swords here You know, I feel like you're trying to let this naturally develop, but I feel like there's also a sense of control here, too. I mean, you also may be walking away from people that are no longer serving you in a positive way. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. With the King of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and then the Page of Pentacles. There will be some sort of uh, new job opportunity that's coming towards you. Perhaps there is a job offer. Perhaps there's a raise. Perhaps there is, um, you know, maybe a promotion here. You might be giving. You might be getting a message regarding a promotion regarding your work here. Okay, and I feel like this is maybe going to help you financially, uh, greatly financially here. So I'm about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? King of Cups. Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. Okay. There could be new love here. Maybe this is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this is, someone here is coming in to fight for you. Someone here is um, perhaps stressing over that there's a possibility that they could lose you to someone else. Whoever this, whoever this is, this is someone who, who uh, cares about you. This person could be in love with you. Uh, Leo, okay? Uh, the Fool, Three of Swords, Five of Swords, and the King of Swords. Wow. Leo, how many people are you talking to? With the Three of Swords here and then the King of Swords. Seems like someone here is really heartbroken over some sort of competition here or a third party situation because I feel like, you know, if you're this Empress, you're getting a lot of attention here, okay? Um, this is interesting. I feel like you might not even choose any of these people. Yeah. It seems like th there might be three different people here, but you know, with this King of Pentacles, it could be like a work situation sort of thing. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, perhaps, you know, with the Seven of Cups, it, this could represent that you're no longer um, having options. The thing is, I feel like I'm not seeing you choosing anyone though. You know, so Leo, you could be just focusing on yourself, focusing on your spiritual growth here. You know, focus on spiritual ascension, okay? All right, so Leo, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, 
leave a comment down in the comment section below, share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks.